to feng shui your bedroom. If you were given a choice to feng shui up a room in your home, it will definitely be your bedroom. The bedroom is your comfort place where you feel more relaxed and calm. Here are 10 tips to feng shui up your bedroom. First will be the bed headboard should be placed against the wall. A solid wall provides strong protection and support. But do make sure that there shouldn't be a window above the headboard and this is because glass windows are transparent which does not provide you with enough support and protection. Make sure the headboard is not sharing the wall with the toilet or the stove on the other side. This is because the energy from the stove or the toilet could affect your health and well-being. So can headboards be substituted with headboard? Well, you may feel like a prisoner with this setup and I would not recommend that. Tip number two, do not place more than one mirror in your bedroom. We all love taking our OOTDs in the mirror in our beautiful bedrooms, but having more than one mirror in your bedroom is not allowed in Feng Shui. The mirror should not be placed at any location where you're facing the mirror and this is because it will reflect and increase energy which may interrupt your sleep. In Feng Shui, mirrors are said to invite a third person in your bedroom. So I assume you don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and notice an unknown friend staring at you. Tip number three, do not sleep against a window. Your bed should be placed against a good solid wall which will hold the positive energy around you. Sleeping against the window will weaken the chi as there's no strong support and neither will you have any symbol of protection. Tip number four, do not align your bed with an open door. Many Feng Shui experts have agreed that the bed should not be placed aligned with the door. This is normally called the coffin position. Placing the bed aligned with the door will bring too much qi, and too much of a good thing is also bad. Tip number 5. Keep away all electronics. We all know the bedroom should be a quiet and peaceful haven for you. Make sure you are free from any sort of distractions. Some of us tend to check our social media during the night. This will definitely distract us and cause us to have a lack of sleep. But since there are homes with limited space, it is best advised to move all the electronics as far from your bed as possible. Reading books and magazines are some ways to distract you from checking your phone more often. Tip number 6. Choose the right color. In Feng Shui, it is said that some colors bring the maximum amount of calmness and positive energy in the bedroom and at the same time enhance good sleep. Here are some colors that you can use for your bedroom. Cream tones, peach tones, chocolate brown and brown tones. Please be cautious. Don't use too much of peach. It is said that peach can attract partners. Instead of painting the walls peach, you can have bed sheets that are peach colored. Tip number seven, pair everything. In the Feng Shui concept, pairs are meant to bring out love and harmony. So assume your bedroom for two people, even if you're not planning to get into a relationship anytime soon. So go ahead and allocate a little more extra spaces in your room for an extra nightstand and bedside table, which means pair up these items. Two similar bedside table, two similar nightstands, two chairs, and two lamps. Tip number eight, too many houseplants. These may sound obnoxious for some of us, but in the concept of Feng Shui, too many houseplants in a bedroom is not that healthy. The energy which emits from the plants are said to be too strong and growth boosters, and hence this will ruin your calm and chill vibes that you wish to have. If you still feel that you need plants, go ahead and substitute the bed sheets or the furniture in your bedroom with earthly sheets. Tip number 9. Be aware on the paintings you pick. The paintings we pick for our bedrooms have many meanings to us and potentially are capable of affecting our personal lives. For love and affection, family photos are best to be kept in other rooms in your house. If you are single and waiting for a love life to pop in, it's best to avoid having pictures of single objects or people. If you are leaning towards depression or sadness, be aware of where you are placing the painting. Always make sure to place the paintings at your eye level or slightly higher in order to lift the chi up. And lastly, tip number 10. No fishy tanks in the bedroom. 
Many of us assume that fish tanks are considered one of the best items that can bring good feng shui. The energy in fish tanks is calming but at the same time it has continuous movement which creates a powerful energy. The energy generated from the water element can disturb the stability of the feng shui in your bedroom.